it's Billy Rood at 58 Magazine, and welcome to my new series about the esoteric symbolism in storytelling. This series will give deeper insight into the creativity behind storytelling based upon the myth of our life force, our energy that came down and took upon itself matter. These stories are about each of us and the raising of energy and evolution back up to the crown, called enlightenment. These stories are so powerful because they speak to our subconscious and create a feeling that reminds us of who we are. And as a filmmaker myself, I've always loved the creativity and collaborative adventure of constructing a story because it's very similar to constructing personal reality. And today I will talk about the Marvel film Shang-Chi, directed by Destin Daniel Cretton. And Shang-Chi symbolizes the transmigration of the soul, the unfoldment and spiritualization of the ego intellect to the heart and intuition. Shihuan Yorin 只有征服. And the tomb that these rings were stolen from symbolize the skull. This knowledge and process of transcending to the highest levels of enlightenment is one of letting go of the identification of the personal self. And this video is inspired by the work of Dr. David Hawkins. When you're honest about it, you see that you love your ego. You love the juice you get out of your ego. See? Once you admit that truth, you've taken the cover off of it. You love the ego. It's your source of juice. It's the source of all the injustices, the calamities, the pains, the hatreds. Where would you be without it? You'd be stuck with the reality of the self, which doesn't buy that crap and the teachings of the order of Christian mystics. And my intention with this film is to help you to learn to become more aware of yourself and transcend your identification with the limited ego self. The undoing of the identification of the ego self is the primary focus of spiritual evolution and is the enigma that has baffled even the most intelligent minds of history. And most of the films that are very popular in our culture represent the freeing of your identification with this ego. As one comes to understand the true nature of the mind, one becomes less controlled to the effect of its inner workings and better positioned to transcend to one's identification with it. The origin and destiny of the soul and the reason for its appearance on earth has throughout the ages been a theme of vital importance to humanity. And a doctrine of transmigration suggests that when the human soul does not aid the union of the personal consciousness and the lower principles with the spiritual aspirations, it is cut off from the contact of the true self. Maybe there's a point where you're supposed to stop going on joy rides and start thinking about living up to your potential. Please tell me you're kidding, Sue. Look, we're now living in a world where at any moment half the population can just disappear. Life's too short and too fragile. Katie, you're a valet driver with an honors degree from Berkeley, and Sean can speak like four languages. You've always been the most talented people I know. I just don't get why you're scared to actually use it for something serious. Wow. You sound like my mom. You also dress like her a little bit too. <laughs> Where's this from, Talbots? <laughs> and the atom is defined as the center of force and made up of a central positively charged nucleus called a proton, surrounded by a cluster of negatively charged corpuscles called electrons and neutrons which revolve around the nucleus in orbits corresponding relatively 
to the orbits of the planets about the sun of our solar system, proving that the same grand plan of manifestation exists from cosmos to atom. And these rings visualize life force gradually raising the vibratory rate of the atoms into higher forms as Shang-Chi evolves.那是我第一次见到你的父亲。我从没想过自己会为他动心，但爱总是自有安排。上界，实话的传说啊，讲都讲不完，等你长大了，自然就会了解的。and these rings transmigrate from the lower vibrations to the higher mental world of spiritual aspirations and longings for something more than the material world of the ego. There are millions of atoms upon which each soul has placed the radioactive imprint of its stage of unfoldment. The ego is the main hero, heroine, in the inner movie of one's life until aware of itself. The fact that having a mind is an involuntary burden helps us with the realization that it is not a personal choice or decision. It is imposed and thrust upon us, unasked. It is inherited as a human being, and everyone is a victim of the ignorance and limitation of the human ego until we become aware. Once the evolutionary structure and function of the ego is understood, its disassembly is facilitated by the inner decision to pursue that which is real and eternal rather than temporal, transitory, and fleeting. Those who see life as a precious gift do not wish to waste it on that which is trivial and temporal. The ego can be thought of as a set of entrenched habits of thought, which are the results of entrainment by invisible energy fields that dominate human consciousness. And these invisible energy fields are visualized and symbolized by the Ten Rings. 他打造了一支十环军团。千百年来，他们扫荡了世界的每个角落。So the ego often looks like the light, and discernment is quite difficult. 他们潜伏于暗中，颠覆各方政权，也改写了历史。If there was such a creature as the Antichrist or devil, where would he hide? If he were smart, he'd hide in spirituality. It would hide in the government, church, culture, entertainment, and in our own mind. The ego is the central processing and planning center, the integrative, executive, strategic, and tactical focus that orchestrates copes, sorts, stores, and retrieves. When we get closer to the ego's tenacity, we make the amazing critical discovery that we are infatuated with ourself. This ego cuts ourselves off from awareness and our energy, which is feminine. Our feminine aspect is pure cosmic energy from the Creator in our masculine world is the creation.
这点本事。So our inner world, which is feminine, which is intuitive, creates the outer world, which is masculine, which is her creation. And the ego distracts us from this truth and keeps us focused on the outer masculine world and creates the illusion of an outside creator. And there is nothing deadlier than religionized ego, which you can see at the Vatican. And the ego is not an enemy to be attacked or defeated, nor is it evil to be vanquished. It is dissolved by compassionate understanding. It often takes the collective experiences of millions of people over many centuries to learn even what appears to be a simple and obvious truth, namely that peace is better than war, or love is better than hate. But the truth is that there is no such thing in reality as an ego. It is merely an illusion to release, so something far better can replace it. And like this film, the father represents Shang Chi's mind, the intellect, the ego. His relationship to his father is his inner relationship to his own ego. After my mom died, my dad started my training. The ego fears the future and the specter of death itself, which is intrinsic to the ego structure. And the ego is merely a compilation of unexamined habits of perception, like a shadow. From sun up to sun down, I was taught every possible way to kill a man. The ego structure is not unique or individual, and is relatively similar with karmic variations in everyone. The variation from individual to individual is the degree to which one is enslaved by its programs. And the ego was inherited as an it, and is actually an impersonal it. The problem is that we personalize it and identify with it as me. I or myself. The ego is a self-interested animal, and unless we understand this nature and accept it, its influence cannot be diminished. The ego is the worst confidence trickster we could ever figure, we could ever imagine, because you don't see it. And the single biggest con is, I am you. The problem is that the ego hides in the last place that you'd ever look. Within itself, it disguises its thoughts as your thoughts, its feelings as your feelings. It, you, you think it's you. People's need to protect their own egos knows no bounds. They will lie, cheat, steal, kill, do whatever it takes to maintain what we call ego boundaries. People have no clue that they're in prison. They don't know that there is an ego. They don't know the distinction. At first, it's difficult for the mind to accept that there's some. Something beyond itself, that there's something、uh, of, of greater value and greater capacity for discerning truth than itself. In religion, the ego manifests as the devil, and of course, no one realizes how smart the ego is because it created the devil, so you could blame someone else. In creating、uh, this imaginary external enemy, we usually usually made a, a real enemy for ourselves, and that becomes a real danger to the ego. But that's also the ego's creation. There is no such thing as an external enemy, no matter what that voice in your head is telling you. All perception of an enemy is a projection of the ego as the enemy. In that sense, you could say that 100% of our external enemies are of our own creation. Your greatest enemy is your own inner perception, is your own ignorance, is your own ego. And the ego is the imaginary doer behind thought and action. It is the voice that implants thoughts and actions of duality, desire, and victimization. It always tries to hypnotize you that you are not enough, and that there is always an enemy to be conquered. By the time I was 14, I could barely remember what life was like before she died. That's how old I was when he sent me on my first assignment. I was willing to do anything he wanted.、And、the fight scene on the bus symbolizes his inner battle with his own ego. 相应给我，就没有人会受伤。Do you know this guy? I know what you're talking about, dude. 
Hey, what? Whoa. Get off of me! What is wrong with you, asshole? I don't want to hurt you. Then I'll get the wrong guy. You have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. His own battle and temptation with negative thoughts. The human ego likes to pretend that evil exists out there, and seduces its hapless, innocent self. You okay? Into it inadvertently falling into the trap of seduction, and the real temper is the ego's desire for gain, whether that be sensation, excitement, advantage, prestige, or the pleasure of controlling others. Think of all the energy you spend trying to fight these thoughts. This ego. Some even allow these thoughts to take over, and this is called social consciousness, which is below awareness. Understanding the ego's nature. Reveals its underlying mechanisms so that we may withdraw the value we innocently project onto it, thereby enabling spiritual progress. Who are you? The ego is not the real you. It was inherited as part of being born a human. I told my men they wouldn't be able to kill you if they tried. Glad I was right. Let's go home. And first, let's start exploring the nature of the ego and the mind, and the sense of the personal self, so we can be better prepared to transcend this misidentification. And the ego implies a negative quality. An obstacle to realization because of its linear, dualistic construction. And in psychology, the term denotes coping and survival skills needed to deal productively with the world. And the ego self identifies not only with the mind but also with its content. I know you're taking my tea. Bye, I'll take it. I won't give you. 不应该回来。有的时候，我在练功，我闭上我的眼睛，就可以感觉他就在我身后。你有这个感觉吗？没有。I know what you're going there to do. I don't know what he's telling you, but mom. Mom's dead. Don't leave my room there. Ling Ling. 我三天以后就回来。My memory, my senses, my thoughts, my emotions, my property, my success, my failure, my expectations, my feelings, etc. And this identification presumes ownership and authorship. Thus, the ego sees and believes itself to be a personal, self-centered entity whose mental content is more important than the truth. You know what he said to me when he left? I'll be back in three days. And after three days, I went to our mom's shrine and waited. Three days turned into a week. A week turned into a month, and a month turned into six years. That's how long it took me to realize I didn't need him anymore. I built this place on my own. I didn't need you then, and I don't need you now. The ego's addiction and survival are based on the secret pleasure of negativity, which cannot be abandoned until it is first recognized, identified, and owned without shame or guilt. One has to see that this is just how the ego. Which everyone inherits, operates, and recognizes that it's not really personal at all. 
We have to realize the grim satisfaction it squeezes out of pain is a poor substitute for joy. The ego secretly loves and clings to the position of victimhood and extracts a distorted pleasure in grim justification from pain and suffering. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. The satisfactions of the ego are more pleasurable and addictive than the preservation of human life, much less dignity. There is an inner satisfaction that is the payoff of self-pity, anger, rage, hate, pride, guilt, fear, and so on. This inner pleasure, as morbid as it may sound, energizes and propagates all these emotions. To undo the ego, one must be willing to abandon this payoff game with this grandstanding of emotions and repetitive rehousing of data and stories to justify its positions. What does he want with the pen? Did America make you soft? But your dad's on like a whole nother level. Is he gonna kill us? Just nod, don't talk. He'll forget you're there. That's how I survived. He always treats you like that? Only after my mom died. And this ego is created within all of us when we lose connection to our feminine nature. And in this film, that represents his mother and his heart.妈妈的故乡塔罗有一个神龙，它是我们的保护神，它将魔法赋予在了我们每个人的身上。等你领悟了神龙之心，你就可以做很多了不起的事情。那你现在还有魔法吗？妈妈离开的时候啊，把魔
everything changed. Into the heart and spirit, a sunny day or rainy day are the same. She showed me a part of myself I didn't know was there. It was like I was seeing the world for the first time. Awareness enjoys qualities rather than grasping at form and matter. It can enjoy being with without having to own or control. She gave up everything so we could be together. And awareness is not driven by goals. And so did I. But instead values the capacity for equal pleasure in all circumstances. After all those years, I finally found something worth growing old for. My real name is Wenwu. She was the only one who called me that. And when she died, I was lost for many years. But I'm not lost anymore. When you children ran away, I was so desperate to connect with your mother. I threw myself back into the studies of her village, the legendary Talo. I wasn't able to find the secret path to the village entrance, but I did find what they are hiding. There's a gate deep in their mountains. Your mother is waiting for us there. These desires represent the attachments that the Buddha spoke of. I know this is a lot. I might not have believed it if she didn't tell me herself. What are you talking about? I was sitting right here in this seat, deep in my research. And she spoke to me. As the bondage of suffering thought. It was like she was standing in this room. I could feel her breath on my cheek and her hand on my back. If one lets go of the vanity of thought. She told me she needs my help. To do what? To save her from her people. It dissolves because all thought is vanity. After we fell in love, your mother wanted us to live in Talo. She asked permission from the elders and they refused. They said I wasn't worthy. All thought is the cause of suffering. She would still be with us. We would all be living there together. Talo did this to us. And all opinions are vanities. They locked her behind that gate to punish her. The pleasure of vanity is therefore the basis of the ego. Don't you see? Unplug it. She's leaving clues for us. She wants us to find her and bring her home so we can be a family again. And it collapses. Dad, mom's gone. She's not talking to you from behind a gate and she's not leaving any clues for us. Then what are these? One mechanism the ego uses to project itself is to disown the painful state and project it onto the world and others. And this is what we are all experiencing today, projections of our own individualized pain, suffering, and fear. And once we are aware of our own pain in the mind, we can heal it with our awareness. It is the inner that creates the outer. And the undoing of ego is but by use of the power of truth itself. And although each person's path is unique, the terrain to be covered is relatively common to all. The passage to Talo is guarded by a moving maze. But there's a direct path through the forest that only opens once a year. On Qingmingjie. To get through, you need to know the route and the exact time it opens. Now I know both. It is necessary to develop respect for spiritual endeavor. Straight and narrow is the path. Waste no time or effort. Three days from now, 
We will rescue my wife from her prison and bring her home. To look within is to find the underlying, ever-present source of the illumination of the mind itself. This is why you're here. To help me bring her back to us. And what happens if they don't let you open the gate? We'll burn the village to the ground. The ego is therefore potentially deadly. What? To the ego, a want is interpreted. You can't just march into our mom's village with this bullshit. As a need. I mean, do you have any idea how insane this is? And a half to half. Thus its seeking can become frantic. Hey! And all caution can be thrown to the wind. What? Where are you taking me? Lock them up! And after one has observed the general field of mind, it is apparent that the specific content of thought is not rewarding. One has to stand back and move further into the next level of consciousness and ask what is it that is watching, observing, being aware of, and registering the flow of thoughts. The ego gets a grim pleasure and satisfaction from suffering and all the levels lacking integrity, which is pride, anger, desire, guilt, shame, and grief. When you realize the thoughts are not mine, there is no me involved. In spiritual evolution is the automatic consequence of watching the mind. Spiritual processing is like positioning oneself in the wind or in a water current. And this discipline is a contemplative attitude of poise. One is not forced to feel resentment by negative memory, nor does one have to buy into a fearful thought about the future. These are only options like a television running its various channels for selection, and one does not have to follow any particular temptation of thought. Mama. One can fall into temptation of thought as feeling sorry for oneself, anger, or worry, but the secret attraction of all these options is that they offer an inner payoff or secret satisfaction that is the source of the attraction of the mind's thoughts and content. Papa. And there is an inner secret satisfaction in being a martyr, victim, or loser. And by repetition, they eventually gain dominance and control, which is the innate purpose of the narcissistic ego in the first place. In approaching the ego, it is well to remember that it feeds off of and is seduced by the energy of the negativity of pain suffering, hate, and guilt, to which it then gets attached and addicted. It loves hatred, being right, and revenge. This is its juice. It sees forgiveness, compassion, as the enemy, and the ego's rigidity and resistance to correction are based on narcissistic egotism, pride, and vanity. You're a bad man. 
，我不知道，我我真的不知道。No, and the ego defends its own limitations with prideful denial, thus becoming its own victim. The ego is a victim of itself. It clings to emotionality. 血债，必须要血偿。Which is intimately connected with its positionalities, and pretends to think that it has no other choices, and it loves its positionality due to its great payoff. Conflict is therefore of the ego in harmony of the spirit. It also creates enemies by projecting itself onto others. But as itself, we found the man responsible for killing your mother. It is your right to finish this for both of us. And when you return, we will rebuild the Tan Rains to what it once was. And the ego's position propagates itself because its secret sought payoff is the emotion itself. The personal ego self never runs out of drama and problems, which are invented as a tool of self-propagation and survival. The less we identify and think, the more delightful our life becomes. 没关系。These desires represent the attachments that the Buddha spoke of as the bondage of suffering. Thought. 咱们一家人很快就能在一起了。And by spiritual endeavor. One discovers that is oneself who has been captive and a victim, ensnared by the clever deceptions of the ego. So, um, pretty confused right now because、uh, initially I thought your dad should definitely see a therapist for his delusions, but but then that dragon vomited a magical water map, and now I have no idea what's real. Is what he said about your mom's village true? She used to tell us stories about Talon when we were kids. A village in another dimension, full of magical creatures. But that was just a fairy tale. What if that's right? The secret pleasure of suffering is addictive. About mom being locked behind a gate by her own people. Crazier things have turned out to be true. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on, but if we don't find a way to get to Talo before him, he's going to destroy everything that's left of our family. This family was destroyed a long time ago. Many people devote their entire lives to it, encourage others to follow. How was that? Instead of indulging in guilt, shame, and self-hatred, you're, you're, you're going toward that noise. It is far more productive to accept it for what it is, appreciates its historic value, and adopt it as one would a naive pet. What the hell? Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, who? What's what? That. That. What is that? 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 What is that? You can see Morris. Morris. Oh, 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 oh Morris. They can see you. You're real. All this time, I thought I was hallucinating him. Oh, this is such bad news. Harry says he knows who you are. It, talk, it talks to you. <laughs> If he didn't talk to me, I'd gone mad yonks ago. How would he know? He says he grew up with your mum in Tarlo. Apparently, your father picked him up in some magic forest on one of his expeditions to find the entrance. He wants you to take him home. How did you? Dad has a tunnel system under the whole compound. That's how I escaped last time.、Um, This will take us straight to the garage. And the brain is the instrument of the mind, and can be played upon by the lower mind and made to cater to the passions and appetites of the animal soul, or it can be made to respond to the guidance of the higher mind, the mind of the spiritual self or soul. You should speed up. What? Why? Teddy, go, go, go! Morris says hard right on three. What? Two. Hard right where? Now. 
Precision is discipline that is innate to serious commitment, and the focus remains poised on the razor's edge of the crest of the fleeting moment. It's all about staying in the pocket. What pocket? We're in it now. What happens if you don't stay in the pocket? The forest eats us. Eats us? What does that mean? It says it eats us. Go left. In this poised position, mental activity and imagining gradually recede, revealing that the underlying field is activated by the desire and the intention of thinkingness itself. One last try, let's try it on to the end. And one pointedness of mind means to focus on the crest of the wave of witnessing experiencing. You might want to hurry up. What do you think I'm doing? We're not gonna make it. Plus being willing to surrender, perceive loss or gain. Home, and that is the primary skill that is needed. And instead of forcing change, allow divinity to do so by deeply surrendering all control, resistance, and illusions of gain or loss. <laughs> Morris says, great job, everyone. Now, all we have to do is go through that waterfall, and we're pretty much there. It is not necessary to destroy or attack illusions, but merely to allow them to fall away. And the strength of the ego is such that it can be only overcome by spiritual power. The ego's hold is weaker by acceptance, familiarity, and compassionate understanding. In contrast, it is reinforced by self-criticism, condemnation, fear, and shame. And spiritual work is therefore a matter of exploration that transcends mental concepts such as those of cause and effect. Spiritual processing is like positioning oneself in the wind or in a water current. I think those birds are on fire. Really? Morris says it's normal. They're old mates of his. In an early mankind, when the animal form was untrained and incapable of responding consciously to the indwelling soul, the animal selfishness, passions, and desires predominated and impressed their vibrations upon the atoms of the body. And the sooner we learn this lesson of personal responsibility for the condition of our lives and environment, the sooner will both humanity and the lower kingdoms attain their true place in peace and harmony. That's a weird horse. What's it looking at me for? People have been here for over 4,000 years, preparing for something we hope will never happen. We are the keepers of the Dark Gate, sworn to protect this realm and yours from the evil that's locked behind it. Our dad is coming here to open that gate. He thinks you're holding our mom there. Why would he think that? She told him. He says he can hear her asking for help. Is he wearing the rings? He hasn't taken them off since she died. What do they have to do with all this? The realm of Talo stretches far beyond the shores of our small village. We have cities that surpass any in your universe, rich with culture and history. Thousands of years ago, all of our people lived in peace and prosperity until the attack of the Dweller in Darkness. He came with his army, devouring every soul in their path. And with each kill, they grew stronger. After decimating our largest cities, they were headed to your universe to do the same. The leaders of Talor sent their strongest warriors here to stop them from reaching the portal to your world. But our ancestors were no match for them. Until the Great Protector joined their fight and turned the tide. Together, 
They pushed the dweller and his army into the dark gate and locked it behind them. Our people have guarded that gate ever since, empowered by the magic of the great protector and the gift that she gave us. Dragon scales. Makes very good armor. Your father isn't the first to come here to open the dark gate. Many have tried and failed over the centuries, and they all had one thing in common. They were lured here by the voice of something on the other side. A voice that promised them their greatest desires. So you think soul eaters are talking to our dad? They know the Ten Rings have the power to break them free. We are atoms of God, Source, the Universe, the Sun, and it is our duty to transmigrate through all these lower conditions as rapidly as possible, but now willing and unresistingly following the light of the spiritual Sun. After losing someone like her, it's easy to feel alone in this world. But you're not. You are children of this family, and I welcome you home. And drawn by the law of spiritual affinity of our mother and become one. It is through the human body that the soul must continue the unfolding of its spiritual qualities and powers in the world of matter and work out the unadjusted karma generated during previous incarnations on this and other planets. <laughs> And to reveal the game of the ego is by self-inquiry. I just love how you guys know exactly what you want to do and you spend your whole life getting really good at it. I wish I was more like that. It's like every time I get moderately good at something, I just quit and start something new. But I just know my own limits, and I'm not going to waste my time chasing something that will ultimately be a disappointment for me. That's not me. Kuangbo, let him try. If you don't have a stick in your heart, you're in the wrong My mother was the only one who could beat him. Show me how she did it. Self-inquiry as a spiritual technique is a favorite teaching in posing the question, who am I? Your mother knew who she was. Do you? To cease identification with the experiencer as the reality of oneself is a major transition from dualistic content to non-dualistic context and therefore from self to self. You are a product of all who came before you. The legacy of your family. 
the good and the bad. It is all a part of who you are. Stop hiding, nephew. It only prolongs the pain. It is dissolved by acceptance and compassion that arises out of understanding its intrinsic nature and origin. We can quite Sir, the men are ready. The passage will open at dawn. I'll prepare the vehicles. Addiction to the ego's desires is intoxicating, where the pleasure is from the emotional payoff of negativity. And negative positions tend to be self perpetuating habits like addiction, based on presumptions and in the inner seductive lure of the gratification of basic animal instincts. Your dad trained you to be an assassin when you were seven. He sent you on a hit at 14. You realize how messed up that is, right? My mom is dead because of him. And now he's coming to destroy her home. But what are you saying? I'm gonna do what he trained me to do. I'm gonna kill him. And this directs attention from the experiencer ego to the source of awareness itself, consciousness, the observer and thus leads from the false self to the true self. You have to learn to stop the judgment, doubt, and fears. Doubt is the ego, and truth is strength as an expression of integrity. We must learn to spiritualize these atoms and radiate higher forces and raise the vibratory rate of the atoms which we embody. Like the sun, our soul is the positive nucleus of man and woman and attracts the atoms necessary for mastery. He's here. No one of us can attain mastery and final liberation until all the atoms for whose experience he or she is responsible have been redeemed. Are you here to help the people holding your own mother captive? She isn't back there. You're being lied to by a creature who wants to destroy us all. Is that what they told you? I know my wife's voice. I miss my sister as much as you do. But this is not the way to honor her memory. Did you honor her when you turned her away from your gate? Let me pass. We cannot do that. And the psychological source of seeming evil is primarily the naive childishness of the primitive animal instincts of the infantile ego, which tends to go into a rage if its impulses are blocked by an external authority. Burn it down and the persistence of the primitiveness of self-interest, disregard for the rights of others, and seeing others as enemies and competitors rather than allies. The collective egos of whole nations bring about their downfall and destruction, and desires are thereby escalated to being desperate and demanding any sacrifice, including even the deaths of millions of people. <laughs> Thank you. 
and would rather see you dead than admit it was wrong. It is addicted to being right. The ego conceals while awareness reveals. Spiritual truth challenges the ego's presumption that it is God or in command. This ego personality or experiencer's function is to get pleasure and possess it. It is not concerned with the soul unless it is spiritually oriented. Are you planning to stop me all by yourself? I'm not afraid of you. Yes, you are. You've spent your entire life afraid. Always running. Always hiding. You were there when they came for her, and you did nothing. You stood at a window and watched her die. She was gone, and we needed you. But you chose those damn rings over us! You trained your son to be a killer. Is this what you wanted? Even if you could bring her back, what makes you think she'd want anything to do with you? What are they doing? Stealing souls to feed the dweller in darkness. If it grows strong enough, it will break right through the gate. That was just the beginning. And this dweller in the darkness visualizes the ego. And these demons or monsters is a representation of how negative thoughts feed your ego. The dweller in the darkness with the energy of your soul. Since there are many types of minds, many forms of presentation are necessary to explain all types of the one fundamental truth that everyone is responsible for the conditions which surround them on earth and that because of this responsibility by each must be redeemed through the correlation with higher vibrations in the spiritual life.
We must realize by our thoughts and actions, and by the radioactive effect of our lives, we must perfect and spiritualize the streams of atoms as they transmigrate through our bodies. She's not back there, Dad. Get out of my way, boy. No. By redeeming our own body, much of the earth is uplifted and spiritualized. That is the only way the earth can be redeemed, for every vibration of spiritual force to which the human mind responds sends an answering wave of force through the whole cosmos. that humility is strength and not weakness, and that it is wisdom and not ignorance that leads us to transcendence. With the replacement of self by the self, the power of mastery is known by virtue of the fact that the infinite is one source and reality. There is no limitation or beliefs in the mind except for yourself, which is happiness and joy. This is spiritual and soul transmigration. feminine aspect is pure cosmic energy from the creator in our masculine world is the creation and the ego is not an enemy to be attacked or defeated nor is it evil to be vanquished it is dissolved by compassionate understanding I have to save her she's calling to me wish that were true. Dad, please. Your family needs you. The undoing of the identification of the ego self is the primary focus of spiritual evolution and is the enigma that has baffled even the most intelligent minds of history. As one comes to understand the true nature of the mind, 
one becomes less controlled to the effect of its inner workings and better positioned to transcend to one's identification with it. The origin and destiny of the soul and the reason for its appearance on earth has throughout the ages been a theme of vital importance to humanity. And a doctrine of transmigration suggests that when the human soul does not aid the union of the personal consciousness and the lower principles with the spiritual aspirations, it is cut off from the contact of the true self. In the end, it will be found that the sacrifice of letting go of the mind is actually the greatest gift one can receive. If the ego has neither past, present, nor future to focus on, it falls silent and is replaced by the silence. such a form was evolved through the ages, could the spiritual being, which is the real self, descend from the higher worlds and incarnate in it. When we raise up in spiritual unfoldment, we touch the skies of heavenly consciousness and is lifted up with millions of cells and atoms and other lower forms of life which are part of the outer personality. relinquishment of the dependence on the ego experiencer for pleasure and happiness, one discovers that the source of happiness is one's own existence and the realization of the self is happiness itself. Ah, you go. Mama, A thousand years ago and a thousand years from now, we will always be together.
And thus by man and woman and the conquering of the ego can the earth be redeemed and this reality be changed. And when you have experienced this conquering of the ego and this awareness of thought and belief, it sounds like this. I seriously thought we were going to die. And I had only learned how to shoot a bow like a day earlier. Now I'm on a battlefield killing all these soul suckers with Sean's auntie, who's, who's this awesome, magical kung fu goddess. And I'm hanging out of the Great Protector with my sister at this point, trying not to get eaten by the mega soul sucker. Oh, the mega soul sucker was such a nasty bitch. Yeah, I was trying to eat her dragon soul. Which would have allowed it to destroy the entire universe. Yeah. I only had one arrow left, and all I could hear in the back of my mind was my mom's voice saying, just take the shot, you little mooch. And so I aimed right for the sucker's throat, and I let her fly. She hit it dead on. And then Sean used the Ten Rings to like do this like crazy Kamehameha fireball that exploded the thing, and he saved the world. Yeah, we uh, lost some good people that day. But we made it. We made it. There is no limitation or beliefs in the mind except for yourself. This is spiritual and soul transmigration. I know this is a lot to take in, but you're gonna have to start getting used to that. From now on, the trajectory of your lives will be like nothing you've ever experienced before. And there's no going back. You both have a long journey ahead of you. For every vibration of spiritual force to which the human mind responds sends an answering wave of force through the whole cosmos. 